More info on the Pagani Huayra. An Aston Martin Vantage gets an S. Top Gear is all about your first cars, plus some Rolex 24 hours of Daytona results. And of course, we got Commenter of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Did anyone watch the Pro Bowl last night? I did. Oh. Not. No. Me yeah. Did I. Me either. I didn't know it was on. Yeah, you wouldn't. Let's get into the news with this, the Pagani Huayra, which we've all decided to make our lives a whole lot easier by just calling it by its code name, the C9. Last week we reported on leaked photos of the new car, but now the cat's out of the bag. Pagani has made it official with these photos and stats. The car is destined for the United States and has been fully homologated to meet US safety regulations. Pricing is expected to be set at, drum roll please, 1.4 million dollars with production starting late next year so pretty cheap the weight about one snooky heavier than the outgoing zonda that's 265 pounds 60 comes in 3.3 seconds and the top speed is 230 miles per hour power comes by way of an amg source 6 liter v12 with 700 horsepower with a seven speed x-track sequential gearbox we've heard rumors the car will be doing the traditional nurburgring lifetime benchmark test in the next few weeks but until then you can all just drool over these photos. Just make sure you cover your keyboard, because that'd be gross. And if the Pagani seems a bit too much for you and you'd rather have a car you can throw into your rap video, check this out. It's the Aston Martin Vantage S. Think of it as a middle child between the V8 and the V12 Vantage. That middle ground between two nations which could include a minefield or two. I'm just saying. Obviously, we can see past the press release, the Vantage is getting old and Aston is now building new packages to sell new cars. So what do you get for the S badge? Well, 10 more horsepower, 15 pound-feet more of torque, a larger air intake, carbon fiber splitter, a cooler diffuser, and a chance to say, look at me, I always just take the middle ground. No? So, as most of you know, BBC America's Top Gear is sponsoring FLD this week, and they want to hear your first car stories. If we and BBC America like your stories, you could win a trip to London to see the Top Gear live experience. But keep in mind, you can only win that trip if you submit your stories to MyFirstCarStories.com. Last week we did just one promo to tell you about the contest and you guys responded like, whoa. Here's one story we liked from YouTuber Naltz talking about his Volkswagen Vanagon. Jenny, I'm gonna tell you about my first car experience. In order to be uh, a careful driver, I will ask you to uh, maybe hold the camera. It was a Volkswagen Vanagon. It was like two-tier brown. It was like Scooby-Doo mobile. And uh, it was it was a wreck. It was it had already been through everybody in the family when it made its way to me. And we're talking the 80s here, Jane. We're talking the oh, 80s. This the is before 80s. You. Why don't you read this list of things so that you can prompt me on my notes. Fit 15 people. Yeah, you could. You could fit. You could fit 15 to 20 people. It's like one of those clown cars. We ruined the suspension because we would take off. It was a street like this. It was all bumpy, and we'd go really fast on it and hit the bumps and try to just get the car flying off the ground. Well, do you have any questions, Jane, about the new car? I don't really know why I should care. Well, you should care because if if they uh, pick my uh, video, oh. then I get to uh, fly to London. Nice, Naltz. I dig your niece's hat. And very solid my first car story about your VW Vanagon. Too bad that van is gone. <laughs> so, everyone else, take note. These are the type of stories we want to see. Make them creative and fun and share yours on Twitter using the hashtag MyFirstCar. Or you can post a video on YouTube using the tag MyFirstCar. BBC America will also show their favorite My First Car stories on air during the new season of Top Gear. That's Mondays, 9, 8 central, starting February 7th. Again, if you have a great story, it could win you a trip to London to see the Top Gear live experience. Enter the contest at MyFirstCarStories.com. Yeah. And now on to some motorsports news. Outside from a handful of new Formula One cars being released this weekend, which we'll cover tomorrow, there was the first major race event of the year, the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona. 
the race that kicks off the season for many sports car, NASCAR, IndyCar, and even Formula One drivers. It's an international event with drivers from over 15 countries. This year's 24 was the last of an era because next year, the 50th anniversary of the race will include a new spec of race cars, GT3 spec cars to be specific, with Porsche GT3s running alongside Audi R8s and Aston Martin Vantages. That is if teams decide to buy them. This year's race had no rain, but teams were plagued with a three hour fog delay as flaggers couldn't see the track. The winners? Chip Ganassi racing with a 1-2 finish in the DP class with the 0-1 driven by Scott Pruitt, Memo Mojas, Joey Hand, and Graham Ray Hall, crossing the line two seconds ahead of the team's sister car. In the GT class, TRG took victory in a Porsche GT3 Cup with Porsche factory driver Wolf Hensler, Andy Lally, Spencer Pompelli, Brendan Gohan, and Steven Bretheau. Again, next year marks the 50th anniversary for the race, so you may want to make some plans to go. And I think JF had something to say to you guys. All the fans, thank you for uh, saying hi. I'm actually kind of upset because I didn't actually say hi back to many of them. I oh, apologize. were you like well, no, too I was, cool? I was running through the pits and a lot of them <laughs> like, oh, hey, Jeff. And I was like, oh, crap, I can't actually say hi. So I apologize, but you guys, thank you. Right, so everyone who was there, JF says thanks. <clears throat> anyway, you know what time it is? Any of you guys? <laughs> Time for a new host. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alan. It's coming through the week time. Comments, our show, yeah, comments are of the week. Comments. comments. Yes, thanks, Jeff. In keeping with the whole My First Car theme, we figured we'd pick, well, one of your comments talking about your first car. There were tons of good ones, but here's one from a cocky 17 year old who goes by the name of Purple Flith. Now, I'm assuming he meant his name to be Purple Filth, but typed it in wrong when he was creating his YouTube account, so he was, fail. He's a porn star. Oh, is he? Interesting. Anyway, he said, My first car was and is a black Dodge Challenger RT 2010. Be jealous, bitches. This won't make it on the show, but as a 17-year-old, I get more looks by hot women than those 60-year-olds and those damn Benzes and those cocks and BMWs. Okay, dude, first off, you didn't have to capitalize the word black. Writing black in lowercase perfectly lets us know that your car is still black. Second, all right, I will give it to you that it's pretty cool that a 17 year old gets a brand new 2010 car, but no, we aren't jealous, bitch. Third, it's never cool and never will be cool to write the word hot as hot, as in H-A-W-T. You get immediate tool points for that. Also. Most girls don't really check out 60 year olds in general, no matter what they're driving. And if they do, they aren't even cougars. They're probably more like snow leopards. So as you can tell, your comment did make it on the show. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. Anyway, thanks for commenting. That'll be it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. You guys check out the X Games at all this weekend? I missed it. Sean White won gold again, but he did it wearing skinny jeans. He can get away with hipster. You're right, but I mean, and he had like like this leather jacket on with this like uh, army uh, symbol, but hey, dude's a beast. And also chick snowboarders, smoking hot. Yeah. That's all I'm saying, and they can rip. And Graham Ray Hall. Ray Hall, right. Joey Hand and Graham Ray Hall. And Graham Ray Hall. <laughs> and Graham Ray Hall. Ray Hall, okay. The winners, and Graham Ray Hall. Dude, dude. You're, you're... And Graham Ray Hall. They both cross. <laughs> what? And Graham Ray Hall. They both crossed the line. They both. <laughs> and Graham Ray Hall. Cro and Graham Ray Hall. I said Ray Hall. I said Graham Ray Hall. It could have worked. Ray Hall. Yeah. Ray Hall. You got it. Chip Ganassi race. <laughs> Sorry. Mohas, <laughs> Joey Hand. <laughs> You even get to it. You're just fucking with it. Because I feel like there's so much pressure when it gets to his name. And Graham Ray Hall. In the GT class, TRG took <laughs> it. Did I f yeah, up again? You did. You did. I was like. <laughs> and Graham Ray Hall. It's, but it's not right. <laughs> and Graham Ray Hall. Cross it's close enough. <laughs> it's Ray Hall. I said Ray Hall. You're saying Raw Hall. <laughs> Say Ray Hall. Ray Hall. <laughs> Ray Hall. Started. Oh, Ray. Graham Ray Hall. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Ah. <clears throat> all right. The winners, Chip Ganassi Racing with a 1-2 finish in the DP class with the 0-1 driven by Scott Pruitt, Memo Mojas, Joey Hand, and Graham Ray Hall. Crossing the line two seconds. <laughs>